Okay, let's go. Okay, so I've got the buttermilk in, we've got cornstarch, white wine vinegar. So we originally started the sauce because you know when you go to a Mexican restaurant and you have that great green sauce, but you can never find something that fresh and that good at a store? And so we thought, what if we just like tried to make it? How are we doing on the lime juice? The Johansson family will be the first to tell you that smashing garlic and squeezing limes together was never their idea of family bonding. But here in Katy, these salsa siblings have made a name for themselves with a homemade recipe that's been a hit for years. People like loved it, like the teachers loved it, and then we were like, what if we sold this stuff? So we'd like take our bikes to school and we'd sell them to the teachers there and stuff. Well, that was like the very beginning stages. A dash of salt here, a sprig of cilantro there, and you've got a blender full of some of the best homemade salsa verde you've ever had. A dip so delicious, Tracy and her boys have turned it into a full-blown business. Awesome. So Aiden is uh, 18 and he's my oldest. So he's our vice president of logistics. George is the head of you know, marketing and social media. And Luke is funny as can be. And he's actually the passion behind our business. So I liked rhinos a lot. Uh, they were my favorite animal. So I got a book from my school library and read about them and found that they were endangered and being poached. So then for birthday, I asked for donations to rhinos. How old were you? Like five. I was really young. You didn't want toys? Yeah, no. <laughs> you wanted to help the rhinos at five? Yeah. At just five years old, young Luke understood all too well that the greatest threat facing the African rhino was poaching. These lumbering creatures with skin creased and wrinkled like leather once roamed sub-Saharan Africa in large numbers. But due to unfounded myths about the medical properties of powdered horn, rhinos had been driven to the brink of extinction. But one small kid with a very big heart decided to do something about it. We are causing almost every problem that's happening on Earth right now and I feel like it's sort of our responsibility to deal with it. Yeah, so we, used to, we would just give the money that we got to the International Rhino Foundation, and each year he wanted to top the amount of money that he raised. I did. He did, he did. And then eventually my mom was like, what if we like, sold my sauce that everyone loves to raise even more money for the rhinos? And then that's how it started. And that's how Three Sons Foods was born. What started as a beloved neighborhood snack eventually turned into a favorite at farmer's markets. My mom's Diablo Verde sauce is the best. And then, thanks to HEB's Quest for Texas Best competition, stores across Texas began carrying Diablo Verde salsa. Diablo Verde comes in mild, medium, and hot, with a portion of every sale going to the International Rhino Foundation, a nonprofit that aims to stop illegal rhino poaching. So with every sale of this creamy concoction, lives were being saved. But the Johansson said, why not do more? So they started whipping up another kind of salsa for another special cause. With Diablo Verde, we have raised over $15,000 for rhino conservation. And so, like, that pumps me up. I want to do so much more. Our new line, Diablo Vegan, is to help wolves. So you saw how well it, it's been doing for the rhinos, mm -hmm. and then you wanted to find a cause of your own. How did you come up with wolves? Um, pretty similar. Like, I thought wolves were really cool, <laughs> and they used to be, like, all over the U.S., and now their, their natural territory has been shrunken a lot. And I want to donate to them. Yeah, it's a pretty trend. It's I like rhinos, he likes wolves, and he likes pretty Canadian basses. What? <laughs> yeah. No, really. Um, like whenever we'd go to the ocean or like the beach and stuff, and I would just see trash, it would just make me so sad because I know all these fish are just trying to like survive, and having trash is just like not helping. So what sauce is coming next for you? We're thinking about probably red sauce. Do you think you can really save the rhinos and save the wolves and help the ocean? 
Yeah. I think if we go to our, our, our full potential, then I think we can. Yeah. So where do you see the business going in 10 years from now? Where do you see yourselves? I, mean, I just hope we can save as much of wildlife as possible. Yeah. Why is that important, though? We need animals and like the biodiversity of the earth. It's, it's good for the environment to like save animals and stuff. It sounds like you're learning a lot more than just selling salts. Yeah. Kind of like how to live your life in, I guess, a good way. Uh, <laughs> Because you're saving yeah. I mean, species. When you, when you give back, it gives back to you. Like the world gives back to you when you help it. In the simplest way you can look at it, the Johansson sells salsa. But mixed in with all the ingredients and packaged in a little glass jar is something else. It's got no shelf life and comes with no expiration date. It's an opportunity to make change in a world that so desperately needs it. A world Tracy and the boys are impacting one jar at a time. When you know, you think about the fact that your kids care about making a difference in the world, what's it do for you inside? You're gonna make me cry, <laughs> it makes me feel great. I mean, it just feels good to know that I'm uh, encouraging them, you know. We still need some more lime juice. The thing is, I love, I love my sauce, but it's a vehicle for me to do something better. So when I lay my head down to die, I want to know that like there's, like the rhino species is going to continue to thrive. That would make me really happy to, you know, to just die knowing I made a difference. That's what it's all about. I love that story. Me too, and we've got plenty more where that came from. Just click on the subscribe button and keep traveling with us.